was a game changer for me. Um, there were so many that I thought of, but the one that I kind of zeroed in on was uh, from Jeremiah 17, and it's not one particular verse. It's kind of like a whole section. So uh, really probably the most impactful verses for me, verses 5 through 9, and uh, also verse 14, um, Jeremiah um, just speaking for the Lord, delivering a message, just giving this um, picture of people as trees. And uh, we're one of two kinds of trees. We're either like a, like a desert bush or we're like a, a fruitful uh, tree that's planted right by a stream of water. And uh, the, the whole point of that passage is for us to kind of just evaluate and say, what, what am I more like? And um, yeah, that, that passage just really had a, a deep uh, impact on my life. So my life before that passage, um, really, um, I had been in, uh, been a Christian for a long time. I'd been a pastor actually for um, probably two decades at that point. Um, you know, as a husband, I was a father, uh, raising two teenage kids, and um, at kind of the, the point leading up to that passage really impacting me, I would honestly say it was probably the darkest um, season of my life. Um, I was um, feeling desperate. I was feeling kind of lost, confused, um, uh, just uh, very, um, yeah, very, very dark and very unsure of... Um, of where my life was going and, and kind of even why I was here. Um, so that passage was deeply impactful um, at that point in my life. You know, uh, what changed for me um, after that passage, um, uh, actually a friend is the one that recommended that passage and recommended me beginning to process life kind of through the lens that that passage provided um, it's, uh, the passage shows the contrast between those two trees and where they're rooted. And uh, I, I just began to realize that um, I, my life was far too based on, on my circumstances and uh, not based enough on where I was rooted. And um, so I began to just process uh, everything that I was thinking and feeling, how I was responding, what I really wanted out of life, and began to realize that, um, man, I, I needed to, to find deeper rooting in, in Christ. And he began to, uh, to just change, change my heart, change my desires, change my outlook. And, um, and it's really become this... Um, kind of this lens through which I continue to, to process life. Um, and I would say that even beyond me, um, it's even been a real helpful lens by which um, I can come alongside other people and, and uh, help them process kind of the, the more difficult seasons of their lives. And so, uh, yeah, that, that passage has really uh, changed a lot for me and even the way I'm able to minister to others as a pastor. So I'm Mike Roberts, um, and um, I, I have been changed uh, in a significant way uh, through the, this passage, Jeremiah 17, and um, just love how God's Word has, has brought uh, change to me, and I hope that maybe it might have the, the same uh, impact on your life. Um, I know this. I know that God's Word uh, is living, it's active, it's sharper than a two-edged sword, and uh, it is able to do what nothing else can. And if you're willing to listen to God's Word and, and put it into uh, application in your life, uh, it, it will change you, it'll transform you. And uh, whether it's Jeremiah 17 or it's some other passage of Scripture, when God meets you uh, in your place of need uh, through His Word, uh, it, it'll change your life. Uh, and uh, look forward to seeing uh, how that works out for you.